So we successfully see the user details in this route and added the middleware and prefix. What I want to do, I want to uh, create an API for a blog posts. So they're going to be users, posts. It's going to be a basic, simple example, but it is going to clear a lot of things. So what we can do, we can create a model and a controller and first I'm going to do that for author and then for posts. So let's do that and we will allow user to get the details using the API URL that we are going to add here, the route. So I open the terminal, I'm already in the API directory for this folder and I'm going to run a command php artisan uh, make model now here we pass dash a and dash r and i'm going to pass author now dash a is going to make sure we get the factory we get the migration and the model and this author is going to be the name of the model so we hit return so it creates all these files here now if i go so first of all, the concern is that we need to work with the database. So what I do, I close these all and I go to the database migration. And here I'm going to want to see the author migration. Now in author table, I want the author name for now, nothing more, because we want to see how API works. So I don't want to make it complicated. So here I say dot table and here we can going to pass string. And this is going to be name, which is going to store a name for the author. Now I'm going to close this migration because I'm going to have from migration side, we are done. Now the second thing we need to do is need to uh, correct one thing. So if I go to HTTP controller, we have author controller. And I'm going to change to authors because controllers should be plural. It shouldn't be singular. So author and as you change the file name you make sure that the uh, class name is also the same otherwise so you're going to face the error so you can see that we have controller with the default methods here we can use this method we used dash r while creating the model that's why we have the uh, these methods all created by default otherwise you won't get these in controller so using that's the benefit so we can use these methods when we are going to to uh, write the uh, endpoints for IR. But currently we don't have anything so that we uh, any data regarding author so that we, we can use these methods. So what I do, I close this, I go into the database folder again, I close the migration, go into factories, because I had a dash so we had a factory as well, I open this file. Here, this file can generate the dummy data so what we can do we can pass here some values so as we have only one value uh, in our migration file i added only one value if you remember here the name so we need to pass the same here we, we are going to generate for only name so here i'm going to say in array we want to generate few names and it's going to go for this faker and what we need to generate is name. So Faker, by using Faker, you can generate fake emails, addresses, names, and so on. So we want only names here, and it is an array. So you, I've, you, know, you want multiple values, just put a comma and add further values. So we want only one, so we uh, leave it like this. Uh, we told the auto factory we want the name values to generate for some fake names but we haven't told how many. So for that, what do you need to do? You need to go into the cedar files and there you will see an auth cedar. Inside auth cedar, you need to call uh, auth, author, model. Then you call factory and you pass a number, how many records you want. So I pass 10 and you simply say create. So this is going to create. Now I made a typo here. Make sure you don't make it. And uh, we also need to include this class because uh, it's not included here. So we simply say here on top, use yeah, backslash and we are in models. So I'm 
All right, now um, there's one more thing we need to do before this fires because we need to run uh, the cedar, the seeds. So whenever you run a seed, you need to put the uh, your cedar file. You need to call in database cedar file. So you need to go in database cedar. You can see here uh, by default they have a sample here. Uh, like how can you call? And we're going to do something like that too. So what are we going to do? We're going to say here uh, dollar this, and we are going to call call method. And this call method is going to call for the cedar file. So we say lot uh, cedar, and it's a class. So we simply pass it this way, and now it is going to do the job. So it's going to call it. You can directly call as well. You can see that it is done here, but we did a more proper way, the way we created a separate file and we are calling it there. And then we are calling that class here, which is, which is more neat. So now as we created this, it's the time we'd run the command. And before running, uh, I have all this done. So let's do that. So I go here and say PHP artisan and migrate and dash dash seed and migrate and you can see that we successfully ran the migration now let's go to the database here we have authors and you can see we have 10 authors generated here so that's what we wanted. Now we can use this database and we can display the data to the user. So that's totally up to you how you wanna do it. So if I go to api.php, here we have single route. And whenever you create routes, you can comment on them. So here I say uh, route for the other developers can easily understand what this route is doing. And however, I'm just giving a simple uh, comment here. You can have anything. So route for, all right. Now here we can draw and type the another route. Now notice that this is a route group as we created. So any route you create inside is going to have uh, the authentication through API. So we will need the access token. So here I'm going to say route and we can say get. And here we can pass the URL. So by going to that URL, we can get the details. So we have author, so I say authors, slash, and pass here, author. Or you can call it ID. So whatever detail you're passing, you can call it. Pass a comma, and then you need to pass the controller. Now, if you remember, we created a controller for it. So if you go, uh, to HTTP controllers, we have authors controller where I showed you that we have some methods we can use. So now we're gonna use one of these methods. So here I'm going to say, uh, we need to use a class, which is going to be the author. I'm going to use a method from it, which is going to be show method. And that's it. Now this needs to be included uh, this controller, we simply go on top here, we say use, now it is inside app, backslash, we have HTTP, backslash, then controllers, and then we have the author controller, that's it, so it should be fine now, so now we have a route where we can go and look for uh, the author detail. Now we know that we have 10 route uh, uh, authors, so we can pass any of these 10 IDs to get detail of any particular author. So here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use Postman this time. Now here we are using the access token for this. I want to do something similar, so I'm going to click here on tab, duplicate tab. Now it generates duplicate tab, and if I go to auth, we already have the token there. So we will not face any issue. Now here we need to say, we have prefix v1, which is fine. Now this time we are passing the author. So I'm going to pass the uh, author. So if you remember, we passed the authors slash ID. So we need to pass the ID. 
Let's try to see let's hide these two. Send, we get one. Now we get one because I forgot something. What we did it we we say author controller not that show but we haven't uh, mentioned any logic in there so let's go there author controller method show or you can pass any other method but this is the method to display the content so this is we are using here I say return one to three just to see if we are going right now go here and uh, hit send you can get the one to three now here we are getting the author if you see here we pass here dollar author we are going to get the id that we are passing send and that is happening because we are not passing author we are passing id if you remember i changed it so if i go to api.php you remember i changed here author to id so if i go back here and change it to id so it's going to be id like this and this is the author model so if you are uh, passing the model, model, it is going to uh, give you the data. So here, let's go, refresh, and you can see that this time we have the data. I see that it is making more sense to pass author as we are getting all the author details. So it's better I change it to author. So, and here in author, I change it back to author. Now, as we have author in our uh, route, it should be working just fine. So I hit there, and we still have that. So this is the uh, ID second, and the this is the author. You go to database, you will see the same author on the second ID. So we are getting the data uh, totally fine. If you like the content of this channel and you want me to create more videos like this, please support me on Patreon. You can also subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share with others. Thank you for watching.